Hey, from your online genius here. Um, I am uh, glad you're here. Wanted to wish you a happy new year. Uh, I am coming to you live today to, to give you a bit of a preview and some foreshadowing of, of what's going to be going on here and more generally with your online genius this year in 2018. Um, again, uh, I'm Bobby Clink. If you don't know me, I'm an online entrepreneur and an intellectual property lawyer. And your online genius is my attempt to make law accessible for other online entrepreneurs, to give them the information they need to protect their business, to make sure they are getting the protection, the information they need so that they will have a prosperous life and that you don't have a, a landmine that comes back to haunt you. But today, I wanted to talk a little bit about things that I think we're all doing as part of the new year. Uh, as part of the new year, I think we all tend to do some planning, some thinking, some goal setting. I know I do. Uh, this year, part of what I did, uh, or one of my goals, uh, has actually spurred some other goals and I think given me some clarity already. And that is that I have set a goal for myself to read 52 business books or books that would in some way improve my skills as a businessman this year. That's one a week. It's a pretty ambitious goal. Uh, if you're a busy entrepreneur, I know you can feel sometimes like you don't have time to do that. But I knew I needed to set a goal so that I would actually do it. Because in the past, I've, I've really approached things almost from an ad hoc basis. And every once in a while, I'll say, oh, I'm going to review some stuff. But I don't do it consistently. But this year I set a goal, I put it down in writing, and I'm telling you about it, so I'm going to do it. And uh, I'm happy to report I'm off to a good start. I've already finished uh, three books, and I'm on to my fourth, um, and, and that doesn't even count. I'm not counting one that I, I, I had already been reading most of, but went back and reread a little bit of on New Year's Day. But in that process, a couple of the books that I've been reading were about planning. They're about goal setting. And one of them is one that I finished and then reread on on new uh, uh, on New Year's, and that's Michael Hyatt's new book, the best your best year ever. I was lucky enough to be on his launch team. Uh, it's a great book. It talks about how you can go through the process of prospering, and it has to do with looking in in your history and finding the stuff in your history that you need to to deal with and get rid of but also looking forward and setting goals and setting not just smart goals, but he talks about smarter goals. Uh, I, I really would suggest if you, if you are interested in goal setting, in, in building, etc., go and get that book. It is a fantastic book. Um, it, it's a quick read. There, there's a lot of uh, quotables, tweetables, etc. in there that you will get some real value out of. Um, I actually like it. I've, I've loved Michael Hyatt for a long time. Um, for a long time, when, when I went on podcasts, I mentioned one of his prior books as my favorite. That was uh, Living Forward, uh, which is all about having a life plan. And that is about thinking through your entire life, not just your business, and, and thinking through things coherently. So uh, I highly recommend his work. Um, I also actually use his planner, uh, the Full Focus Planner. But I, 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 I'm going a bit in detail there that I don't need to. Um, the other book, though, that I read uh, that actually helped give me a lot more clarity in the process of even thinking through what I was doing and, and what I was thinking about uh, with, with Michael Hyatt's book is The One Thing. Uh, and that, this is a book by Gary Keller, I, I think Keller Williams and uh, Jay uh, Papasan, I think. But it's a book about focusing literally on the one thing. And so it walks you through this process of thinking through, hey, where do I want to be someday? And then where do I want to be, you know, you kind of work backwards from that. And eventually you figure out what is the one thing that I need to be doing all the way to literally right now. What is the one thing I need to be doing now? Or it's not that I need to be, but that I can be doing that will make my life, make my future easier and basically avoid all the other crap. And so that book actually provided a lot of clarity for me. It allowed me to think through and have some big picture and, and a lot of these uh, different concepts and, and put everything together. So that has helped me in a lot of ways. I think it was fantastic. A lot, there's a lot of great advice in that book as well that actually meshes well with all of the other uh, things that you'll hear about in terms of day planning, but also scheduling things. For example, it talks about time blocking. 
And, and that is the concept that you need to schedule significant periods during your day where you are going to focus on your one thing. Now, I've got to combine that um, with Michael Hyatt. Uh, in his book, he talks about having kind of your big three for the day. What are the three things you need to accomplish today that will move your yourself forward, move your life forward? And they don't all have to be business related. It could be business. It could be personal. But the idea is pick the three things, not your 150 thing to do list. And so I, I, I'm using that and I'm blocking out literally the first four hours of my day. I put my phone on airplane mode. I don't have Outlook open. I don't do anything like that. And I spend those four hours working on the big things that I need to be working on. For me, that is actually developing content for you, both free content. I'm also coming up with, with some more you know, uh, uh, paid offerings that I'm going to be having for people. I did an ask campaign last year at the end of the year. And one of the pieces of feedback that I got is that people want courses or, or forms that are specific. I had before went with a very comprehensive approach. I have a comprehensive course. If someone wants kind of soup to nuts about their entire business, how to protect their online business, I've got that offering, but I didn't yet have things for specific issues. So that's part of the feedback. I'm, I'm kind of creating and segmenting out um, within Within a month, I anticipate having eight to 10 smaller mini courses, and, and I call them courses. They're courses in the sense that they will have some education material, but most of them, the real key element will be that they're going to have uh, template forms. So instead of just selling you a form or a form with instructions on how to complete it, I'm going to give you a course for less than most people would charge you just for that form. But the idea is I want to educate you about why you need the form. I know some people don't want to read, so I've got slide deck presentations, you know, 10-minute presentations, 15-minute presentations about, hey, here's what you need to think about. Here are the legal issues that are important here. And here's what you need to do. And then I give you the forms, and I teach you how to fill out the forms. So I will have those hopefully all live uh, by the end of January. That's, that's part of my goal. Uh, I have some other important goals, which are I, I'm getting back to having kind of theme weeks where I'm going to be every week focusing on something and there will be a blog post, there will be a, a Facebook Live and maybe some other things, some other pieces as well. I'm going to try to develop freebies as well. Uh, so they're kind of a deeper dive, like a checklist that relates to whatever the topic is. So that's my goal uh, and, and I'm going to try to do that to try to offer very coherent information to you in a, a sensible way. And I'm going to do it in a way that makes sense um, because it, it, we're going to start next week with a very high level approach. And what we will be talking about next week is in a sense creating an overall plan or what are the overall things that you need to think about. And the reason I decided to start with that is also some of the feedback that I got during my ask campaign. Part of what people said they wanted me to answer, the question they wanted me to answer is, what are the issues that entrepreneurs need to think about? What are the legal issues they need to be worried about? And I think of this as there's a, there's a famous uh, quote or statement uh, from, from Donnie Rumsfeld who said it's the unknown unknowns. But the idea here is that entrepreneurs don't even know what they need to know and what they don't know. And so that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with a very high level. Here are kind of the, the, the different things you need to think about from a legal perspective. And we'll do that next week. And so there will be a podcast, or not a podcast, there will be a, a uh, blog post, there will be a, a Facebook Live. Actually, my podcast episode, which comes out next week, I talk about that concept in the legal lesson as well. Uh, but that won't always happen. I won't always be able to match things up like that. But the concept will simply be, I'm going to give you coherent themes. So next week will be all about what do you need to think about? What are the issues? So think of this as giving you the framework. I'm going to give you the framework to help you understand, hey, here are the different issues I need to think about uh, and that I need to be worried about. So you'll get that next week. Then after that, we'll kind of go through, uh, and my plan right now is to kind of go very chronologically. So we'll start then with, hey, what are, you know, the next week will be about an issue that has to do with forming your business. And when you're first starting out, so that's where we're going to start is kind of, hey, when you're first starting, what do you need to think about?
And so we'll kind of then go through it in various um, ways, almost like you would chronologically through building a business. So that's the plan for the coming months or sorry, for the coming weeks and then coming months. But that is what we're going to be doing. Um, you know, that's part of my, my planning process. I have some other things uh, in the planning process. There's a couple of things I'm going to try to develop. Uh, I'm going to try to develop an assessment tool. And so the idea will be that this will be something where you can go on and take a, a survey on like a survey monkey, but I'm going to integrate it so that what it will do is it'll basically take your answers. It's going to run you through a long list of questions and it'll have some logic. If you say yes to this, you get more questions. If you say no, you don't, et cetera, but walk you through the process. And then from that, it'll actually spit out a, a result. It will spit out a, a report that you get that will tell you, okay, based on your answers, here is this personalized to you that describes what are the issues that, you know, where you're good. So it'll say, hey, you're great in this regard. You've got what you need, but it'll also tell you areas where you're lacking. There is, you know, I, I've seen some things like this out there. I, I've seen one product out there for people on this, but it's very uh, specific to only certain areas within your business and they're charging for it. I don't want to charge you for it. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to develop it. My hope is, again, by the end of January, but that one may bleed into February because there's a lot that goes into that. Um, you know, first, I have to take all the knowledge in my head and put it into an ordered set of questions, but then I have to, you know, create the, the back end logic to actually produce the report for you. But that's something that I definitely have in mind and I'm going to get out there at some point this year. That's part of my plan for the year. Um, also, I'm continuing with the podcast, Your Online Genius. Just literally finished recording a great episode um, uh, earlier today. I'm actually going to push that forward and get that uh, in the queue earlier because uh, the person I interviewed has a great product where her cart is going to be open in a couple of weeks. So I want to make sure it's ready and goes out. But I've got some great people lined up um, over the next uh, few weeks that are going to be some really great interviews. Uh, on things like podcasting, being guests on podcasts, systems for your business, you know, creating online courses, something I've done, but I'm not an expert at it. So I'm going to get an expert to come and really give you some advice there. So that's what I have planned. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, again, my call to action to you is make sure that you're paying attention. Um, you know, I'm going to have uh, uh, schedule these lives so that you know when I'm going live in the future. Uh, so that you have a sense of when I'm going to be coming out with the content uh, and be on the lookout. Uh, I will have that information for you. Uh, we'll have freebies. We'll have a bunch of different stuff where you can get value and you can kind of take things away. But my other call to action is if there is an issue that you want addressed, tell me about it. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer the questions that entrepreneurs like you have. I could talk and, and, and guess and, and you know think about these things, but quite honestly, part of my problem is, as a lawyer, a lot of these things just don't even seem like questions to me because I just don't think about it. It's so second nature. So there are probably things that you have questions about that I'm not thinking about. So, you know, give me a comment uh, or, you know, to this or, you know, send a message to the page. Either one will work. I, I respond both. Uh, again, a, I did some lives last year where I was actually addressing a question that someone had in response to a different live. So if you have a question, ask it. I'll answer it. That's my goal. I'm here to provide value to you. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you plan the, the legal side of your business so that you can you know, have a prosperous year and don't have to think about it. I, I'm here to give you peace of mind and make sure that you know what you need to know and that you can take care of it. And so that's what I'm, uh, I have for you. That's the call to action. Again, the call to action are to pay attention because the really great content is going to start next week. And again, if you have a question, something you want to address, let me know about it. And I'm happy to do it. That's it for today. Uh, I am uh, going to sign off. Uh, I've got some things I got to do. And then I'm going to go out in the frigid weather up here in D.C. where it's like 15 degrees outside. Uh, we're not used to it, but uh, we'll make do. Uh, but I hope you have a great weekend and be on the lookout next week for some great content. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.